What's up, YouTube? I'm back as Damien, and today what I'm doing, like you probably seen in the description, I'm showing you how to connect each of your microphones. So what we'll be doing is connecting a regular standard condenser microphone, also a dynamic microphone, and how to connect a tube microphone. So I'm gonna try to get through this video as quick as possible. Okay, so say you have your interface, and let's put this to the side right now. So you have your interface, and you wanna connect uh, your standard microphone to it. So what we would do is take your condenser microphone, you need to, well, you need a cable like this first. Okay, this is your standard microphone, uh, female to male adapter, and I just, okay. but anyway, female to male and whatever. So, you run it into your microphone, right? Voila. Then, you run this into your interface, microphone input. So, and then also on your input, you're gonna need to engage the 48 volt phantom power. Okay, I just I don't know why I stumbled on that. But yeah, you'll need to engage that. So let's, and that's pretty simple. Like I said, you just run your you run your microphone and your mic cable right into your interface. Pretty simple. So let's disconnect that. Disconnect this microphone. So now we have a dynamic microphone. Dynamic microphone is a bit different. Uh, this will not pick up sound as heavily or as good as you say your condenser microphone. Sounds good, but it takes a lot to get gain out of your dynamic microphones. And I don't really know the science behind that, but it does. So with a dynamic microphone, you will need a cloud lifter or something that is gonna give you some extra DB, extra gain into your microphone. So this is what you use. They got a couple of different versions of these. And I got the, I think the cheaper one, uh, cloud lifter. It may not be the cheapest out of all the ones you can buy, but it was the cheapest cloud lifter I think that they had. So pretty much simple. How you would connect that instead of having one mic cable right here. Now, what you'll need, let me get this out of the way, but you'll need two of them, same way. So, just like you did in the condenser microphone, plugging it right into the input. And then, so instead of plugging directly into the microphone, what you would do is plug directly into the cloud lifter. So as we plug into the cloud lifter, there you go. You're going from the interface mic cable to cloud lifter. Now from the cloud lifter, you would plug your mic cable in, one end of the cloud lifter, and now you can plug it into the microphone. So this will make your dynamic microphone a lot louder where you won't have to skyrocket the gain on here. And uh, I do believe, I have to turn this on, but I think with these dynamic microphones, you don't need the phantom power or I'm not sure if this thing right here makes you need the phantom power but you can try it I'm pretty sure it's not gonna hurt your dynamic mic it good but uh, I don't know that part don't listen to me just check read and I have to read again too but anyway yeah so that's how you connect the dynamic microphone so from the interface take a mic cable run your mic cable into the cloud lifter and then from the cloud lifter run it into your microphone and that's how you connect uh, dynamic microphones. Some preamps are powerful enough that you don't even need the cloud lifter. But in this case, with a focus right Scarlett, in order to get the cleanest sound, put the cloud lifter in there. That's what I would say. Anyway, so now let's move on to the uh, tube microphone. So let's unconnect this and we'll unconnect the cloud lifter, disconnect the cloud lifter and we'll take this. So, I'ma leave this plugged up because you're gonna need your mic cable from your interface. 
into your microphone. But see, you wouldn't just directly take the cable from your microphone input and run it directly into the microphone. And one reason you can't do it anyway is because if you see, I think on the bottom, let me see if I can get this in here. On the bottom, you have seven pins and right here is only three pins in here. So this wouldn't even run, period. So what you would need is your power supply and that's out of tube because it has tubes in it and electricity currents and different things running through it, I guess. So you need a power supply. So here's how you do it. So same scenario. Imagine this being your microphone. So what you would do is run from the audio interface through your cable into your microphone, right? So let's plug it into your microphone. Okay, so as we plug it into your microphone, oh, you know what? This is not a microphone. This is a microphone power supply. But see the microphone power supply goes to the microphone. So we connect it from the audio interface into the microphone's power supply. So now we need to be able to get the sound or the power from this box to this microphone. So remember I told you about the seven pins? Here you have your seven pin cables, right? Okay, so you would take one end and these normally come with your microphone. If they didn't come with your microphone, you need to contact whoever you got your microphone from and tell them they need to give you your two microphone connectors. But, so, you would take these and connect one to your microphone there you go you got that one in your microphone and now you have the other seven pin right here and that would go into your power supply so and there we go boom so just to make it simple you go from your audio interface into your microphone power supply and then from the power supply to the microphone that makes sense so anyway i hope this was helpful if it was subscribe i got more videos coming uh and yeah so anyway let me know if this was helpful to you hope it was hit the thumbs up subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video i'm out if you got any questions also hit me up on my instagram and i'll put that down in the description or put it on the screen or something like that so all right i'm out peace